just use Kaden Live, or is it K D E N Live, or Kaden Live? I don't really know. All I know is that it stands for the K D E or K Desktop Environment Nonlinear Video Editor. And yes, I know I made that video about DaVinci Resolve, and I still consider it a great video editor. In fact, this video you're watching right now is being edited in Resolve. But the thing is, is that something like Kaden Live is great for aspiring video editors. Apart from the fact that it runs pretty well on low end hardware, something that I can't say for Resolve, it also offers a plethora of features, some things that even Resolve doesn't have, at least in the non studio version. Like, the amount of effects packed into Kaden Live is genuinely highly impressive. Like Krita, it was developed by KDE, and it shows. It's incredibly highly polished and works really, really well. However, there are a couple of caveats and problems with it. Like, for example, hardware accelerated previews is not really a thing. Like, yes, you can use the Movit or Movit libraries to get some form of hardware accelerated previews, but they've never really worked for me at all. However, hardware accelerated rendering is definitely possible thanks to FMPEG presets. So for example, with this little code over here, I can render all my videos in NVENC using my NVIDIA GPU and generating not only smaller files, but rendering generally faster. In terms of performance when doing things like scrubbing the timeline and such, it's not excellent. But the thing is, if all you have to do is crop and cut and learn the basics of video editing and filmography, then Kaden Live is more than what you're gonna need. And heck, I use it for many of my videos, like my tutorials and script videos, all of those are edited in Kaden Live. Well, actually that's not true, sometimes I edit them in Olive, but Olive is quite unstable, so I've decided to go full time with Kaden Live when it comes to videos that I'm able to edit in it. Don't get me wrong, I still use Resolve as my primary video editor, but Kaden Live has incredible potential. All it really needs is some really good hardware accelerated previews and such. You can always get around it by using proxy clips though, which is a great solution. However, that's just avoiding the problem. This is especially apparent when doing things like keyframing, which is key, no pun intended, to my YouTube channel. Things like a shot of the Kaden Live logo zooming in would be really hard to nail very well in Kaden Live itself. Also, while it may have many effects for a video, it is lacking in some of the graphics effects that I like, like for example, a drop shadow for an image with an alpha channel. And while this is easily fixable by just opening up the image in GIMP and making a drop shadow on it, you don't have to do this in other video editors, so that's a point off for Kvenlet. But despite all these shortcomings, it's still an excellent piece of Libre software. And if you want to get into video editing and edit your first video and, and do all that stuff, then Kadenlive is a great entry point, especially if you have less powerful hardware. So yeah, Kadenlive is a great and highly functional Libre video editor. Just use Kadenlive. This video was surprisingly not brought to you by OpenShot. It has many effects like Kadenlive, but it's sort of lacking in terms of the interface. It, it looks very antiquated. It has Blender integration, so that's sort of cool if you use Blender. Or you could use the, the video editor in Blender, so I don't really get it, but okay.